there. Okay, so here we're going to talk about setting up the navigation menu in WordPress websites. A lot of them are the same. Each time you're working at a WordPress website, some things depend on the theme that you're using. Um, and so each theme is a little bit different um, and often has different customizing options. So what I'm going to show you usually is how you would set up any navigation menu on any theme. However, I'm saying that knowing that every theme's a little bit different, so it might be slightly different at some point. But for the most part, the way you would work with a navigation menu, we're, for instance, in this example, we're going to look at the UDesign template for Word, WordPress. Um, the example of the site that's here, you know, we've set up here. What we've done is set up the site with content, um, and now the next steps, we're going to customize it. So we're going to customize the logo here at the top, and then we're going to customize like the colors on the side and add something in on the homepage. Like, we're going to make it look a little, you know, more unique. But for now, what we wanted to do was just set up the content. So we've done that, um, but now the next step, you see this menu looks really weird, right? Because it's got too many things. And basically, by default, whenever you set up UDesign, it'll just add every single page that you create to the navigation menu, which looks pretty crazy after you've added, you know, six or eight pages. So what you have to do with this theme, or with pretty much any theme, by default, the theme will usually put every page up in the navigation menu just to get you started. So you have to go and actually create a menu and tell it to use that menu. Some themes allow you to create a menu for the top and for the bottom. Other themes, it's just the top. Other themes, it's like the sidebar menu. You can create lots of custom menus. So it just depends on the theme. But the main one we're going to work with is just the main navigation. So when you're in the dashboard, you want to go back to the appearance menus. And this is where you're going to be able to set up any kind of menu that you want. And it's pretty simple. It's very visual. So, you know, not super hard. Basically what you want to do is you would create a new menu, right? And so there's, by default, just, we don't have a menu. So it's already putting in main menu as your name. So you could say, uh, save menu. Now, for instance, you might want to have um, a footer menu, like a menu for the bottom of the page, and you might want to have some sort of custom sidebar menu. And if you did, you would just hit create new menu and you could create, you know, the additional menus. So it just kind of depends on what you want to do, but this is how you would do it. Um, depending on the theme, this will let you know, like here's where the navigation, like this theme only has primary navigation available. So you might create four or five different menus and you could then select and tell it to use main menu for the primary navigation, right? And again, each theme is slightly different, so if you're using another theme, you might see primary navigation, you might see footer navigation, you might see sidebar navigation, you know, it depends on what theme it is. But most of them are going to have primary navigation. Um, and I'll explain how to set up a sidebar menu in a second. But for now, we're just going to set up the main menu. And then what you would do is um, we're going to select primary navigation because that's what we want to use, right? And then all you have to do is basically look through the pages that you want. You can hit it on view all and then you just add them in. So I could click, you know, home and then I want to have like the gallery. I want to have, um, you know, the different, these different pages featured and um, I'm probably going to create an activities page. So if I just hit add, add to menu, right, for those, it's going to add them here on the side. There we go. So now we have these in the menu, and that's how they'll show up on the site whenever we save it. Now, I'm not going to save this because I want you to do it, but um, this is how they would show up. So then all you need to do, if you want to make a, an item that would be a sub-item, you could drag it to the right slightly, and now gallery is going to show up as a drop-down underneath of home whenever you do that, right? For instance, let me show you an existing site that I've done this on so you can get an idea. So I want to be able to show you this without doing it for you so that you can see what I've done um, and then you can go in and do it yourself. So we're just going to log in here and take a look at how this menu is structured. So in this particular site, again, it's, it's another theme. So we'll just look at the, the site for now. Um, and this particular theme is set up very similar, um, or very similarly. <laughs> and you can see here, here's her navigation. Now there's several drop-down items under each one of these, right? 
Um, not all of them have a drop down, like the blog does not have a drop down, but a lot of them do. So if we look at her menu, we go to Appearance, Menus, and then we'll see the structure of how these are set up. So see, here's the, you know, the main ones like Home, and then there's About Dr. Rachel, and then About Dr. Rachel has two sub items. So if you see over here, About Dr. Rachel, right? So it's pretty obvious. Um, what we usually do is if you do have a drop down menu, see how we repeated this? So we have About Dr. Rachel page here as the main one, and then we have it again as a sub item. And that's because a lot of times people, when they're using a site, they'll click, like they'll roll over this, and then they'll want to go down. So if you don't have it repeated down here, a lot of times they don't realize you can just click, you know, you can click on it. So we usually just repeat whatever the main menu item is, we'll repeat it down the sub menu sometimes. I mean, a lot of the time, just because it's more intuitive. If I'm rolling over something, it's more intuitive for me to go down then and click rather than actually clicking on that thing. So we usually just add it in both places um, just for user experience. And so you can just see how that's set up. Um, and she only has one menu, and it's the primary menu, and that's, you know, she doesn't have a footer menu. Create this menu, and then when you're done, you just hit Save Menu. And then when you refresh the page, that should set up your new menu.